Remember Hill's department store? One of them used to be right here at Green Garden Plaza, where this big lots is. A local man is trying to revitalize its snack bar to bring back memories. Hills is where the snacks were. Proudly wearing a Hills Department Store t-shirt, Jason Powell says he's bringing its nostalgic snack bar back with a food truck that will travel to former locations. What is your favorite Hills memory? The snack bar, of course. <laughs> <laughs> Buying those pretzels and getting that popcorn and, you know, all the glory days. Powell spent a lot of time in the Aliquippa store. This is the Hills that uh, my grandparents and I shopped at. My parents and I shopped at. Unfortunately, I can't take my kids there because Hills is no longer there. But he's keeping the tradition alive. His kids posing outside the old location. He even bought these real Hills shopping carts, or as Pittsburghers like to say, buggies. So people who can visit the new mobile snack bar can have their own photo shoot. The, the response has been nothing but positive. You know, everybody that I've ever talked to just has nothing but great things and memories to say about Hills. So to be able to bring that back to the community, it's it's heartwarming. Heartwarming is how Carol Resnicki describes the store with the hometown feel where she worked for 30 years. The snack bar especially. They were the first to have uh, slushy, slush puppies and the uh, cotton candy. And then on Memorial Day, they would have hot dogs for 10 cents. T drew you right in. <laughs> yeah, the popcorn, the hot dogs, the pretzels, you know, it all just mixed in and, you know, it's just unforgettable and unforgettable like Hills memories and mementos. Hills is where the toys are. This toy basketball who got plenty of playing time when I was three years old. And of course, my mom bought it at Hills. Shannon Perrine still has an official Hills pencil after all these years. Jason hopes to have the mobile Hills snack bar up and running by the spring. Reporting in Aliquippa, Chandy Chapman, Pittsburgh's Action News 4.